What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. Happy Friday everybody. Today I just quickly wanted to show you I have access now as well to the new Microsoft Office Windows 11 refresh long name. Um, so I'm going to show you guys quickly the three main core apps of Office which is Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Just how they look uh, between the changes of the uh, version before and when you opt into the beta channel, which is how you get access to the visual refresh. So starting with Word, you can see this is Word. This is just that tutorial uh, office or uh, tutorial Word document. Um, after a couple of refreshes, that's when you get this icon up here popping up. It took me quite a lot of refreshes, probably about maybe five to six refreshes, like uh, closing out of the app and opening it up again to get this. So now when you click on it, you see it says coming soon it tells you what is coming soon you just hit try the new experience you check it off it says restart required so i will restart it and then when i type in word you see here i'm going to open up the word refresh thing and you see that it has actually uh, transformed so now word looks different so now uh, you see that it's the rounded corners have always been there as long as you're running Windows 11. Uh, but some of the elements have changed, such as this floating ribbon right here. So all the ribbon I like items are floating. So the background is gray and the ribbon itself, the core parts of the ribbon is white, at least in my theme of Windows currently. Um, one thing that I noticed that was kind of odd was that in their blog post, they show that the the top bar right here, I forgot what you even call that as of right now, but the title bar, I guess what you call it up here, it was actually the same color as this area right here, the main page. Uh, but for me, it is the corresponding colors of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, which is the blue, green, and even the reddish orange. Uh, so that's the difference with that. The search also is, uh, obviously it's been centered since the beginning, but now it has rounded corners on it. Uh, you got rounded corners here as well. So if you just love rounded corners, you're going to love this update because it's got rounded corners almost everywhere other than on the document itself. Um, another thing they did emphasize on was the share. All you do is share and you can easily share the document. Share was there before, but um, they do require you to actually have uh, your Outlook account connected. So obviously I don't have Outlook. I don't use it. Um, the next thing is you have ribbon display options. So if you click that drop down, that's also in the original. You can now add uh, your a quick access toolbar to the bottom. It's kind of ugly to me. Um, I was playing around, and that's why I added auto save and a bunch of stuff here. If you right click this area down here, you can see the options there. Show quick access toolbar above the ribbon, which makes it end up up here. In fact, I'll show you that right now. See, it ends up up here, which is kind of weird looking. So to switch that back, you have to click that arrow up there. And then you can either hit show below ribbon or just quick hide quick access. I'll hit it below ribbon. And then you can also add things. You can customize the quick access toolbar by right clicking. You can pick all the little crazy options you want um, to customize that. Um, but overall, it's a it's a pretty decent theme. Um, I call it a theme. It's a pretty decent just visual refresh. One thing that I do wish it had was the acrylic. Um, and by that means like when you on a lot of things like if you right click the background here You notice that at least you can't tell too well in the light theme But you can see that the blue kind of bleeds through colors kind of bleed through the background I kind of wish that was there with this one. It's not it's not really there here I'm not exactly sure I it could be an illusion, but I don't see anything Bleeding through and I kind of wish that happened with office as well just to keep it consistent across um, so now let's back out and go into PowerPoint. So PowerPoint, this is how it looks before you accept that visual refresh. Um, and then if I hit the same little megaphone icon there, they give you a little video there. But then if I want to try it on, uh, I just turn it on and then I just restart PowerPoint as well. So if I restart PowerPoint, open it up, let's say I want to open up Welcome to PowerPoint. You see that I also now also have the visual refresh of PowerPoint. Um, and then so you see the rounded corners a little pixelation in the corner that Microsoft still hasn't fixed um, Everything is pretty much the same the drop down is there You can add a quick access bar if you like that. I don't like that. So I'm never gonna show that um, Show tabs and commands you can auto hide the ribbon just like before you can do that Everything is just rounded corners. So just to let you know if you like rounded corners, you'll like this um, I don't really like round. I mean I like rounded corners, but there just needs more acrylic in my taste. Uh, I might be the only taste. There's some shadows going on, gradients showing on. Um, so 
this is how it looks on PowerPoint. So minimizing that, uh, going into the final one, Excel, as you can tell, again, I have not restarted Excel. You can see that everything is more squared. Take note of how the ribbon looks on Excel as well before I hit exit and then I bring back in. So let's look up Excel as well. And now if I hit just even blank notebook, you see the new look of it. It's still in the same design style as all the other apps just to make it uh, you know, fluid, essentially is what they want the word to use. Uh, it looks nice, text is a little bigger. Um, overall things just look good to me uh it's, there's nothing really i can hate on right now obviously i haven't used it deeply just yet but um so far everything i like so far um but yeah that's about it and i was just making a video before showing how to gain access to this um just i'm not going to show it here i'll just let you guys link to that video in the description or probably in the little card in the corner top right um, but basically all you would do is you would just update your office so update choose update in word powerpoint and excel update it make sure it's the latest version of word powerpoint excel and then once it's the latest you should see office insider pop up under accounts and then you click that and you can join and to jo you have to join the beta channel in order to try this out and with enough restarts of the app this icon up here will show up and that's about it so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole thing uh it looks all right it's not something that i will use too much just because i don't really use uh excel powerpoint or word that much anymore so yeah let me know and uh take care